Last time the national government was in power, they bowled Broadcasting House where I'm standing, which was the home of Radio New Zealand. Now they seem intent on destroying Radio New Zealand as a public service broadcaster altogether. Jonathan Coleman, the Minister of Broadcasting, has frozen Radio New Zealand's funding indefinitely. What this means with rising energy costs, transmission costs, renting costs, etc., that he's cut the funding for Radio New Zealand, and this will have a major and devastating impact on Radio New Zealand's programs and the quality of the service. By freezing Radio New Zealand's funding, the government is trying to force it to become more commercial, despite the fact that its charter and its legislation says it must be commercial free, free of sponsorship and advertising, and free of pressures on it uh, from commercial interests. Already they're having to look at loopy ideas, such as cutting back the regional, uh, regional news service, having more and more overseas programs, cutting back on New Zealand programs, all of these, of course, will deliberately undermine uh, the quality of Radio New Zealand's programming. We can't stand by and let this government destroy the last remaining public service broadcaster in New Zealand. The Green Party will be doing everything we can to save Radio New Zealand, and we urge you to, to join the Facebook campaigns and the protests and force this government to stop trying to destroy our last great public service broadcaster.